We have two new scents from Black Rebel Beard Co. One is an addition to their main lineup, and the other is their limited monthly scent for August. Now, a little bit of housekeeping first because everyone likes to ask these questions, so I want to make sure I address them for you guys. Black Rebel Beard Co. does not have any discount codes. This is not an affiliate or anything like that. But they do have free shipping in the US, they do have an app that you can check out, and they do, I don't think I've ever mentioned this, they have Beard Bucks, which is like a reward system for the more you buy, you get like, essentially like gift card amount of money that you get to apply and use. Now they're owned by a guy by the name of Pedro that I've mentioned many times, and I was actually just messaging with him, I was like, dude, how do you get so many complex, wonderful, beautiful scents? He said, this is all I've thought about for five years. This has been his full-time job for over five years. He says, all I do is think about scents. All I do is think about labels and the company. And I know it sounds kind of corny and cheesy, but I'm always trying to make small improvements along the way. And I think it shows in these products here. So we're going to go over these. Oh, and another big change too, is he has made one of those small changes to his beard butter. Now I asked, was this for performance? What was your goal on this? And he doesn't always like to, to share a lot of uh, what he's doing and stuff. He's just, ah, I'm trying to improve. But the butter, his main goal, was to make it silkier now we know a thing about silkier here and i want to show you guys the consistency here and the butter already was really nice and i'll show the consistency and then i'll break down the ingredients here the main difference for me is that it is it's a little bit silkier it's a little bit smoother the other butter had a little bit of that micro grain, which I actually don't mind. There's times where I really like that micro grit or that micro grain in there. But this one, he just wanted something smoother. In beard to me, it feels exactly the same, performs really, really well. And a part of that is the unique blend of ingredients that we have on the butter here. Now, this is not for any vegans out there. I'm not knocking you on, on that at all, but there's no, this is not for vegans. Here are our ingredients here. Shea butter, that emu oil mix, which is 75 percent emu oil uh, beeswax and lanolin now i have a video on lanolin i got a video on beeswax phenomenal in here and there's just that little bit of the beeswax and lanolin at the end i would call it a full body butter with a little bit of style and hold this is nothing that is bordering on a balm to me this is a real butter full of nourishment and a little bit of styling there so i really enjoy that and you guys know how much i love emu oil for my skin and for my beard so let's go over these new scents and the artwork here. And of course, you know, Black Rebel's always killing it with the stickers. And I received my very first patch from Black Rebel Beard Co. So if you're into patches, they do have some patch options for you guys. So the one that's being added to the main lineup is the Vagabond. Okay, the Vagabond here. Let me show you guys this artwork. Really cool. We know that Black Rebel loves the kind of skulls and everything that kind of goes with that. And the Vagabond here is a tobacco and bay leaf scent. Now, when I heard that before I received it, I didn't quite know how that was going to come out, but it really is a fresh and crisp scent. I know for me, I, I just, I guess I don't know exactly how tobacco and bay leaf blend together, but man, oh man, this is a Dan scent, you guys. There are tons of manly, rich, complex scents that I can appreciate, and I know you guys will love, especially from Black Rebel. This, to me, is a Dan scent. It's not tropical, which I love, right? We had the Escape, which was tropical and was my favorite from Black Rebel. But this is more on the borderline of, of invigorating, but not quite there. It's right in that clean, fresh world. And just bright. It's just a nice, light, bright scent here. This brings a nice balance to the main lineup that you don't see with Black Rebel already. This is absolutely right there with the top of my favorites uh, for Black Rebel. It's easily in my top three with the Escape. Um, what's the other? What's Help me out with a comment down below, guys. I'm blanking on the scent name. That is the Escape, but he mixed it with a cologne scent. Uh, um, oh my gosh. Beach... Oh, beach bumper? Bumper? Oh, there's bumper in there. Oh my gosh, I'm killing myself. And I'm not going to refilm this. I'm leaving this one there, guys. Leave me a comment. Let me know that one. Beach bumper. It's something like that. Those would round out my top three with the Vagabond. Wonderful, fresh, light. If you're into that, you will really enjoy this one. And that means this one is around. It's in their main lineup. It's not going away. It's not uh, pre-order or anything like that. And now the one that everyone's been seeing on Instagram, that everyone's been asking me about because of the name, because of the artwork. And that, of course, is Cash or The Cash here. Obviously playing homage there to, to Johnny Cash. Now this one is 
super complex, super rich, super dark. I have in beard today Vagabond, but I had in cash yesterday. And this is like, I believe there's bourbon in there, there's barbershop, there's mahogany, there's a bunch of layers and then round it out with musk. So let me give you my breakdown of how I believe this smells. Man, I, I tried to have Sam smell it and she was like, I don't know. I don't know what that is. And to me, that classifies as a cologne, right? When there's all these things that come together and you don't know what it is. But here's my breakdown. Here's my story for you guys. This, oh man, <laughs> this is where Pedro gets me, man. I have, I think I'm okay with scents. Sam is easily better. And I'm not just saying that she is much better with the, those things, but I'm pretty good with pulling out scents and describing them and creating a picture. I, Pedro's got me on this one, man. It's nice. It's manly. It's dark. It's rich. There's layers on layers on layers. I do think it is in the realm of a barbershop. You get that barbershop, but there is a cologne in there. You get the kind of aftershave feel from a barbershop. It almost reminds me of like a, a wealthier, sophisticated guy that went to a barbershop. He's got like a really nice, rich leather wallet. <laughs> I don't know why I'm smelling the leather wallet, but it, it has that kind of <sighs> reeks of rich leather bound books. Just really nice barbershop with that, that layers on layers on layers. If any of you have tried this, please help me out in the comments down below. This one is, it's, it's got me baffled. And I don't say that often. That's not something that, that's common on this channel. It's got me baffled on how to describe it. If you like manly scents, if you like ones that you're pondering, you're having to figure out, and you're going to get compliments on, I got a compliment on this through my mask at Rite Aid yesterday. So something to consider if you really like those things. And I mean, just the artwork and the name alone, I know a lot of you are jumping on. And this one is, should be a pre-order right now. This is Monday morning. You want to go onto their website. Don't wait if this is something you want. He said it's going to be his fastest selling ever. So consider that. And I have that in the butter as well. And they have the options of oil, butter, balm, wash, conditioner, and cologne. So you have tons of options. You can mix and match in any way you want. So to get a little bit more help describing this, guys, I'm going to wrap this video up, but I do encourage you to go check out my buddy Matt's channel. He just dropped the same video on no BS beard reviews, and we haven't talked about it. So I'm interested, once I finish watching this one, I'm going to go hop over to his and see what he has to say about the cash. I have a feeling we're probably swapped. The Vagabond is by far my favorite. And the cash, I feel like, lends itself to, to Matt. He's a businessman. He likes those manly cologne type scents. I think that we are probably on the opposite end of the spectrum there, but I genuinely like both of these. So give me your thoughts. Give me your questions down below. Thank you guys for watching this random bonus video to cover Black Rebel Beard Co. Dan C. Bearded, stay bearded, and stay positive.